Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today we're going to be talking about some of the hottest pickups right now. And I give you guys my predictions as far as what these cars are going to go value wise moving forward. Getting things kicked off here with the Walmart exclusive premium mainline Hot Wheels Honda Civic 5 car set. What a mouthful guys. But I was finally able to get this set not by finding it at the store on the pegs but actually had to trade for it you guys know up to this point guys i am notorious for trading away super treasure hunts for mainline cars and that's exactly what i did in this situation i ran into a fellow collector he was looking for a super treasure hunt in trade for this set so i offered up the nova gasser wagon from the mini set 4 from 2021 the other collector was fine with that trade he even threw in three of these the honda civic customs the drag race version from the l case these i have not yet seen in store so i was happy to add a couple of these to my collection made the trade and looking at the values i feel like it was pretty even this five car honda civic set currently sells for around 30 to 35 dollars that Nova Gasser Wagon Super Treasure Hunt from 2021. Even with the factory sealed sticker, it sells for around the same, about $35 to $40. And then the three Civics that he added definitely were the cherry on top. So I felt like it was a pretty even trade. Moving forward, I feel like this five Honda Civic set will probably stay right where it is today. I, I don't feel like the values are gonna go much higher than 35. They could potentially hit like a $35, $40 range. I don't see it exceeding $50, at least not within the next three to five years. And the reason being is I'm basing it off of the Hot Wheels Honda set that came out in 2018. It was an eight car set. It had the Honda Civic EF, the EM1, but it also had the Honda Odyssey, the Honda Monkey, an S2000, and that set right now only sells for about $30 to $40, and it's essentially four years old, so I really don't think this Civic set is going to be much more than that. The other interesting thing that I will note too is that the two most popular models out of this five car set has to be the 90 Honda Civic EF and the 92 Honda Civic EG. Both of those cars right now pretty much make up the bulk of the value of this set, both selling around that eight to $10 range. Next up, we got the Hot Wheels Civic Custom. This is based off the Honda Civic EG. This is a pretty nice cast. It's a first edition. It's a Ryu Asada tribute car. I believe what they did was they took his original EG cast and modified it to make it this drag car no surprise super popular cast right now can't find it on the pegs i didn't even find this on the pegs currently right now it's selling for about three to five dollars on the secondary market i think for the time being it'll stay in that price range i mean it's only been seen in the l case so far obviously it's going to be a carryover into the m maybe even the n i know there is also another recolor in red that's going to be coming in Pretty soon here long-term value on this guys although it's a civic although it's popular right now I think there's just too much going on with this cast to really hold as a truly sought-after model moving forward it kind of reminds me of this 2001 first edition of the EM1 but with this very busy body kit and spoiler all these crazy wings west liveries and decals on it this car right now although it is sought after it only sells for no more than five to eight dollars that's essentially where i see this honda civic reaching to as well in the next couple of years next up we got two of the most highly anticipated and sought after retro entertainment series cars you got the forza lancer evo 6 this is the second time we've seen this cast and I do appreciate that they did put it in a rally inspired decal compared to the first edition that we saw from Modern Classics in all blue. And second of all we have the Porsche 930 from the Cyberpunk video game. This Porsche definitely hits home for me. 
When I think about the Porsche silhouette side profiles, this is the car that I always think about with a giant whale tail in the back. So I was able to get both of these releases off of Amazon.com where they were selling pretty much at retail at about $650, comparable to Walmart and Target. The only downside to all that guys is that when I got them in, I noticed that they were received in in paper bags from Amazon. And the condition of these cards were dreadful guys. I mean they were all bent up, dinged up, scratches, it looked like they were thrown into the back of the Amazon trucks. So if you're buying them off of Amazon.com, just know that they're probably not going to ship to you in a box. That is why I have both of these cars in loose form right now. But if they were carded, guys, they would be selling on the secondary market for about $10 to $15 a piece. The Porsche is just slightly above the Evo. You can say that moving forward the Porsche 930's value will definitely go up because I feel like there is a strong enough market out there for Porsche casts. The Evo on the other hand guys I feel like it's gonna stay in that $15 range. Probably not gonna go much more than that because the graphics on it aren't necessarily exciting. It's not a first edition. The Porsche 930 I could see it going up and being a $25 to $30 premium model and what I'm basing that off of is just looking at some of the popular sought after premium Porsches that have come out in the last couple of years so looking at the Euro styles 993 GT2 currently right now selling for about $25 and then also the silhouette car culture set RWB Porsche that one currently right now selling for about 30 to 35 so I really do see this Porsche 930 from cyberpunk reaching those levels next up we got the target exclusive Nissan Z pack you got the 400 Z or the Z proto along with the JH2 Nissan fair lady Z retail price on this right now is $16 everything has just gone up with inflation but that's exactly how much this set is selling on the secondary market as well too right around the $16 mark which probably means it's not that popular and sought after of a release but my prediction is that these will definitely go up in value they are target exclusives you guys know I have mentioned retailer exclusives always pull in more value further down the road and the comparable that I would have for that is the Nissan Skyline R32 2 pack the one with Larry Chen's red R32 and the HKS Currently right now, that two-pack is selling for right around the $30 mark. I feel like this Nissan Z two-pack, it's nice enough. I feel like eventually the demand will catch up to how nice this release is. Values should definitely go up. And these Target exclusive two-packs overall, I feel like are a good investment. I feel like even long term, they'll go up even higher than that. Easily seen at the $50 mark. So definitely a good buy low candidate right now so we're heating up now folks next is the nissan skyline 2000 gtx super treasure hunt you guys saw me pull this from the pegs just last week super excited to finally have this one in the collection it really does look a lot better in person than it did in all the pictures you all know that there was a time when this car was selling for 120 plus right now it's sitting at about 80 to 100 dollars most likely you'll be able to find this under $100 and my prediction for this car guys moving forward is that it's going to continue to go down. I feel like it's still going to keep going down and bottom out at about $60 to $70 and the reason being guys is that I feel it's very similar to the same execution that we saw with the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR back in 2018. This super treasure hunt, as nice as it is, one of my personal favorites, it's only sitting at about $60 to $80 right now. And I feel like the 2000 GCX is going to be no different. It's going to follow suit. It's going to be within that price range. However, guys, you guys know that I have called the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX essentially the second coming of the Datsun 510 just based on how Hot Wheels is promoting this car 
and releasing all of their casts when it comes to RLC, convention, now we have a super treasure hunt. I'm sure there's a number of other premium mainlines and mainlines to come which are definitely going to skyrocket the popularity of the Hokoska. So thinking long term, I could see this 2000 GTX Skyline reach the ranks and the value of the Datsun 510 Super Treasure Hunt. Currently right now, this is selling for 130 plus on the secondary market. But just understand, it's going to take some time. Just like the Datsun 510, it had a very slow start. It took a number of mainline, premium, RLC, and convention releases before it hit those rings. But hold on tight, that value is definitely going to be there. And one last comparison for you guys, probably the comparison of the year, the best super treasure hunt for 2022. You guys know that I've already said the EK9 is my own personal favorite super for the year. I've gotten a lot of questions and a lot of counter opinion saying that the 2000 gtx is the best super treasure hunt guys but if you look at these two side by side hands down the gold ek9 it just looks so much better color combination how they executed it you know it's a spin-off yellow spectra flame of the phoenix yellow which is a signature color of the ek9 Whereas the 2000 GTX, it's nice guys, don't get me wrong. Even the wheels being a slight tint of green does look pretty good, but that weird side tampo really throws me off. And there's just really nothing significant about this super treasure hunt. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's just not the best for 2022. And you can even see the difference in the price. The EK9 super treasure hunt right now, it's selling for... 130 plus on the secondary market whereas the 2000 gtx again it's at that 85 to 100 dollar mark and last but not least you got the exotic envies 2 lamborghini ascenza sc v12 i mean who doesn't like a nice lamborghini but this thing guys is nuts it's out of this world i mean i haven't seen this car in real life i would love to but this diecast is unreal. All the details from the hood vents to the overarching wheel wells, even the battle style rear wing, it's fully diecast. And to top it off, Hot Wheels gave it to us in a Spectra Flame green. I like to call it diecast green because that's a lot like my logo color, guys. But nonetheless, it's an amazing car. I almost wonder if this is leftover Spectre Flame paint from the Hot Wheels ID line that got cancelled, but super happy to have this and I cannot wait to get this car in chase form. But just the basic version like this is still selling on the secondary market for about $15 when retail was just $6. The chase version of this car in all black currently right now sells for about $115 to $120 which is just out of this world just like the Cas, and that puts it up there in the ranks similar to the mountain drifters er34 chase currently right now that's sitting well above hundred dollars last sold was around 130 to 140. i am really starting to come around on these premium chase models and becoming a true advocate for these cars from a value standpoint i feel like this lamborghini ascenza is going to continue to drop hit the hundred dollar mark and as soon as the next car culture set comes around, this Ascenza in the chase version is going to climb all the way back up to 140, 150. Moving forward long term, I think these premium chase models, especially this first year that we're getting these premium chases, I think they're going to be really worth something. Just thinking the first of a kind of anything is definitely going to have some significance on the hobby. And I will leave you guys with one last bold prediction and it's this within the next year or two I'm predicting that Hot Wheels RLC will release a chase piece I mean we're clearly already seeing it in premium obviously we have super treasure hunts we have chase models within monster jam we have chase pieces within Tony Hawk's skateboards I think an RLC chase piece is already in the works. 
I mean, you think about it from a collector standpoint, we're already unofficially considering low numbered cards chases. I'm pretty sure Hot Wheels is listening and they're definitely going to give us an official chase piece moving forward. And when they do, guys, all I can say is hold on to your wallets. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know what kind of predictions you guys have out there for the hobby. Diecast cars, with Hot Wheels, with chase pieces. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time on Diecast Cars.